now let's see this example construct dfa which accepts set of all strings over the alphabet a comma b in which l is equal to uh, within the curly braces w such that w contains the substring a b or b a so here the language will accepts a set of strings which contains the substring either a b or b a uh, let us take some examples here l is equal to so the first string is a b before a b we don't have any characters after a b we don't have any characters let the second string is b a so before b a we don't have any characters after b a also we don't have any characters next uh, a b so before a b let we have single a after a b we have single b next b a after b a let we have a single character after b a we have a single character so likewise we can construct n number of examples here our target is uh, the language has to accept a set of strings in such a way that it should contain either the substring a b or b a a b a a b or b a so here uh, the minimum possible substring is a b or b a so a b or b a contains uh, how many characters a b or b a size is 2 uh, so the size of the string is 2 so 2 plus 1 means 3 so we require minimum 3 states so let the first state is q0 second state is q1 third state is q2 okay so we require these three states so a b a b so if you apply a and q0 then we will go to q1 if you apply b and q1 you will go to q2 so next here this is not the dfa why because uh, we have to apply b on q0 a on q1 and a b on q2 here the substring may be either a b or b a so so that that's why if we apply b on q0 let us go to the next state that is q3 if we apply b on q0 go to the state q3 so next we have a okay next we have a so if we apply a on q3 then go to the state q2 okay so every string should contain say the a b or b a but this is not the correct dfa so we have to apply the remaining symbols on the corresponding states so on q1 already b is applied so we have to apply a on q1 so so here what is the string here every string may contain the substring either a b or b a so here we can apply a here why because a b means this is a substring next on q3 a is al already applied so we have to apply b on q3 here what is the situation every string should contains the substring b a so we can take the self loop b a here okay next after a b or after b a we can have any number of a's in this there is no problem so let us see whether our dfa is correct or not by taking these four examples a b so if you apply a on q0 then we will go to the q1 if you apply b on q1 we will go to the q2 q2 means final state so that is accepted b a if you apply b on q0 we will go to the q3 if you apply a on q3 we will go to the q2 q2 means final state next a a b b a a b b if you apply a on q0 then we will go to the q1 if you apply a on q1 we will be at q1 only if you apply b on q1 we will go to the q2 if you apply b on q2 we will be at q2 only q2 means final state let us see the last example if you apply b on q0 we will go to the q3 if you apply b on q3 we will be at q3 only if you apply a on q3 we will go to the q2 state if you apply a on q2 we will be at q2 only q2 is the final state so in this way we can construct the dfa